Hey guys, what's going on? This is Cool Toys, and what I have here on my table today is the Cobra Terradrome. Uh, I have a little diorama set up, and uh, we'll do a little walkthrough of what I have here. Uh, here are the Dreadnoughts. I have Zartan, Ripper, Torch, and Buzzer, Monkey Wrench. So uh, just pretend that this is in the swampy area as it was in the cartoon, you know, all this is a green and marsh and swampland, and they're about to jump on their um, sea vehicles and uh, head out and attack the uh, enemy, which would be G.I. Joe. And I have some uh, Cobra Troopers that are surrounding the Terradrome here. Um, I removed the doors just so it's easier to see the inside. I have them in storage and... Uh, Maybe later on I'll get them out and I'll do another video with uh, the doors and everything set up on it. But um, this is to show you the inside, like I said. And uh, here's one of the launch areas for the fire bats. There's a fire bat pilot. Um, he's down here and getting ready to go in. I believe, you know, I'm trying to pretend like there's an elevator going down underground. And uh, there's uh, about 100 fire bats that would launch out the center of this battle platform uh terradrome base and uh have some more over here there would be a jail cell i have the doors put away and uh, you could put your gi joes in there uh up here in the top area i have some cobra vipers with their rocket launchers getting ready to fire on some gi joe vehicles or aircraft um you just have them standing up on top of the consoles the computer consoles and uh, here's a look of the top area I have uh, crimson guards that are in the top sections protecting the senior officers and command uh, of course here's Cobra commander giving his orders to attack GI Joe you have Destro and Baroness I have uh, some Cobra Bats that are protecting Destro and the Baroness. Um, I pretend that, you know, Firefly or um, whoever uh, made these bats uh, is protecting Destro or uh, Scrap Iron. Um, I believe in the cartoons they said that Scrap Iron was the one that uh, built and made these Cobra Bats for Destro. So... Um, they are protecting him. That's his armed guard. They go away anywhere where they both go. They follow his orders to the letter because they're machines. Um, with the Crimson Guard in the red suits, they're supposed to be more of the elite soldiers that are placed around America. They are like lawyers and doctors and things like that. And, uh, when Cobra Commander calls upon them... Uh, they put on their suits and they protect Cobra Commander. So they're more loyal to Cobra Commander as um, I read it and seen it in the uh, comics. And you have your regular Cobra Troopers. I have him with his rocket launcher, another Cobra Viper over here. And like I said, um, they're just protecting the uh, officers that are up here in the command center and um in these red chairs i wish that i had some televipers um i don't believe i have any of the 25th anniversary televipers but if i did and i do in the future um, i would put them in the chairs because they're the communication uh, personnel that would be um, sending out the orders to like the ground vehicles and aircraft and uh here is the center of the Terradrome, and this is where the fire bats launch out of and i'm going to demonstrate that real quick here is the handle down here i'm going to put my hand on it and uh we'll launch out a fire bat push down on the handle the fire bat raises up through the center i'm knocking people all over the place because i'm doing this one-handed and uh you would put out the wings and it would just launch out of the Terradrome. So you can uh, use your imagination and pretend that there's like hundreds of fire bats launching out the center of this Terradrome and they're going to battle with G.I. Joe. Um, 
This is a nice little aircraft, uh, single pilot, and it has landing gear that just is molded in. It would have rockets and missiles and machine guns all attached to it. And it looks like it would be a really fast jet. You know, it would really get out into action and uh, attack G.I. Joe as soon as they came within their radar uh, blips on the screens for the Televipers. So this was a quick look of the Terradrome. Uh, let me know what you all think. If you have this in your collection, if you've always wanted a Terradrome, did you have it? as a child were you given it on a christmas or a birthday uh it was pretty expensive at the time um you know it was almost up there with the uh, u.s flag um if you had this as a child in the 80s or early 90s you definitely were the cool kid on the block all the kids would come over to your house and uh, want to play with it it is an awesome display piece a play set for your vintage or modern gi joe's um, right now, of course, I have my modern G.I. Joes in it. I prefer the articulation and the style of these action figures, but I do love my vintage G.I. Joes. So, again, y'all let me know what you think. Comment, like, subscribe. Take it easy. Later.